What is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 prospect rebuild and today we're going to be doing a Chicago Bulls Zion Williamson rebuild. So surprisingly in the comment section a lot of people requested for me to do this rebuild so yep here we are today doing this rebuild of another Zion. I, I know Zion is like loved by a lot of people so by the time the draft happens i'll probably end up having like five zion rebuilds plus the one i'll do after he gets shifted so i've already done the knicks one i've done i, I think i've done a nick zion yeah i definitely done a nick zion this will be the bulls one i'll end up probably doing a Cavs and Suns one maybe i'm trapping off but i do want to do other players like a hachimura i want to get jared culver involved but i just don't know if they're big enough names to do rebuilds yet and we might have to wait till after the 20 till people have like more recognition on those players so um yeah we're gonna be in a bulls rebuild today i did keep jim boylan just for the one more year he has it i don't know how well, we'll see this is a problem uh a, i guess a good problem the bulls might have in real life say they draft zion Otto Porter's been playing great for them, and he's under contract for another year. What do they do with, like, Wendell Carter Jr.? I'm going to guess they would bump Laurie to the 5 if they do it, plan on keeping um, Porter. But a lot of people saying maybe move Zion to the 3, um, and then still try to work in Laurie and Carter, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to attempt that, and then Porter will be moved to the bench. So really, the next thing we're looking for is a point guard because um, Chris Dunn is not going to cut it. So in free agency, there are some solid ones, a.k.a. Kyra Irving, a.k.a. Kemba Walker. Um, we don't have we don't have cap. Um, now nah, we can make some trades. Felicio, Chris Dunn. I honestly might move Chris Dunn as well. $5 million, and he's not very good. So the Clippers will give me a first. Is this Miami's? I'm actually going to take that. I'm going to take Miami's first that uh, year. And what I'm going to actually do is flip that. Um, to try to get Miami's pick next year um, Will they be willing to do that because they're pretty bad? Uh, they would want my t I don't want Bam out of bio What's with you guys and trying to give up Bam? So what about if I give you two seconds? There we go So we're gonna have Miami's pick next year, which I think will be top five So we will have cap space now to throw How do I I still am two mil short on Kyrie who's getting paid? All right Valentine it's time to go um, since What's his face will be the backup small forward in Otto Porter. We can move on from him. Whiteside. Uh, Mitchell Robinson. Interesting. But I just want to get a pick so I can clear up the cap just um, without taking anything in return. Um, okay. Can I get a first rounder from them? And I will throw you also, uh, I don't know, Blake and Knee. Um, God damn it. Who will just give me a first round pick for these two? There we go. Th uh, the uh, Sixers will. So, now can I offer Kyrie a max deal? Thank you. Uh, Kyrie, player option, no trade clause. Um, will he accept that? Uh, probably not, but maybe. No, he's going to go to the Lakers. Okay. Kemba, don't really want. Russell, I wish. Not many good guys here. So, what we could do is we could just try to sign somebody else and then trade him. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign Jimmy Butler. But, no, we're not going to keep Jimmy Butler. We're going to trade Jimmy Butler for a point guard. In which we do get him, um, because clearly I'm not going to play Jimmy a point guard and run or Levine a point guard. So we get Jimmy Butler. There we go. Now we're immediately going to move Jimmy Butler, but I don't know for what yet. All right, I'm going to try to, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm trying to get Brooklyn's pick, Dinwiddie and Levert for Butler. Um, I will all, do I have any like crappy players I can throw out? I'll give you Chandler Hutchinson. They want my first next year. I mean, we might be good, but like, uh, I'll give you this Thunder pick. This Thunder pick, Jimmy Butler and Chandler Hutchinson for Levert, a first, and Dinwiddie. Stop this nonsense. Just give me your first next year. Um, I'll give you this OKC first, and I don't care about these seconds. Just take these seconds. Do this trade. You know you want to. All right, we're going to make this trade. Okay, apparently our... Okay, so I'm going to get Karis Levert, uh, DeAndre Hunter, a first round pick. Or actually, if I just gave in my pick next year because it has stars. Um, unless, like... I don't know. Let's see. Jimmy Butler and our pick next year. If I threw this up on the block, would I get anything different? <gasps> Could I get John Wall? John Wall would actually be a pretty fun addition. Um, John Wall, John Wall. Okay, what about if I gave you Jimmy Butler? Do we even have the cap for this? Probably not. Um, oh my god, of course we don't. How much are we short? Oh, only 425. So take Chandler Hutchinson and my pick next year for John Wall. And I will give you two seconds. Um... Two seconds, maybe we'll get that done because I still got to add bench players. So, and I, this Thunder pick I picked up, but that's all I'll do. Are you kidding me? You really value John Wall that much? What about Lillard? Probably not going to get Lillard either. Um, even if I gave up this Bulls um, Thunder pick and our pick in 2020, 
and I gave you Chandler Hutchinson, and I gave you another first. Yeah, we're not getting lowered. Okay, what about Ben Simmons? Can, we, can I do Ben Simmons for Jimmy Baller? And they can't even afford that. Why? Well, you signed Kevin Durant. Okay, um, I just went in the trade finder, and this came up. Um, I think I'm going to do this trade, but we're going to have to give up Zach Levine, which hurts. Um, but I have an idea in mind to get Zach Levine back. So I'm going to make this trade. We just picked up Russell Westbrook. I had yet to trade for this player. Oh my God. Okay. I just picked up Russell Westbrook, but now I'm going to just see if I can do some finesse. I'll go back to the thunder and get Zach Levine for Adams. Um, but I also, th uh, I gotta throw in. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to sign like a couple people real quick. Uh, that could probably just get it done on a minimum. Cause I'm just going to throw on my pick next year. Uh, but who can I afford? Um, let me just see what positions we need. So we have one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, so we need three more players. Damn, we are. Our bench is gonna be pretty trash. Who can I afford? Um, Javale McGee. Uh, not many good players. So I'm gonna try to pick up Avery Bradley. Um, Avery, come on, come on, Avery. All right, there we go. We get Avery. Now, who else can I afford? Uh, Kadeem Allen. Ooh. Um, Terrace Smith. Uh, Wayne Ellington, I'll actually take on the minimum. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I could use a backup center. I guess we're going to take Al Jefferson. And then, um, so that'll put me at nine if I get all those guys. Okay. And then I'm just going to sign one more guy. Uh, ooh, I can sign Yogi Ferrell. Okay. So I'm going to sign Yogi Ferrell. Um, if he accepts my deal, which he does. Now we're going to go back to proposed trade and we're going to go Steven Adams. Um, and then probably Yogi Ferrell plus my pick next year for Mr. Zach Levine and hopefully they Thunder would acquire form. Oh, okay. Oh, this would the Thunder requiring more money. All right, give me somebody like Patrick Patterson, and I'll give you your pick as well. Um, and I'll give you a 2023 first. Oh my God! And I'll give you Yogi Ferrell if you could afford that. Holy crap! Do you value Zach Levine that much? Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Well. You know what? Screw you. Why do you value Zach Levine? Oh, okay. No. Yo, I'm not giving you Zion. Wait. What? <laughs> NQ Spider-Man? Like, me? what? <laughs> you have two Russell Westbrooks? <laughs> okay. I'm, I, I give up. Uh, this game's so stupid sometimes. All right. So, I'm going to trade Steven Adams um, in my pick next year for, I don't know, a shooting guard. Um, somebody give me someone good. I want White Cider Malik Monk. I want like an all star. Gary Harris. Oh, God. Um, Gary Harris isn't very good. Wiggins is. Oh, my God. I'll see you guys when I have a trade. Why does Steven Adams just have like no trade value? I'll give you this, these two first, and Steven Adams for Old Depot. And I'll give you Yogi Ferrell. Okay. Apparently, you have no money either. There we go. We just picked up Old Depot. Finally. Okay. So, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to move Yogi Ferrell and Al Jefferson for a better backup center. Ooh, I can get Colin Sexton. Never mind. Give me that. Um, let me look at our team right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna end up moving Ellington or Bradley. Uh, probably Ellington for a backup center. Aaron Baines. Perfect. Um, so we're gonna do that. And this is gonna be a very interesting team that I've never like some players I've never used before. Well, really, it's just um, Russell Westbrook, but I just got Russell freaking Westbrook. All right, so I'm going to send Worry, um, Lowry, Worry, and Wendell Carter Jr. Time to potential. Wendell, I could have had Steven Adams, but I chose you, so you better do good for us this year. Uh, I better see you average at least like eight and a half rebounds um, and like a, a block and a half. So we have Westbrook, Old Depot, Zion, Markkinen, Carter Jr., Porter Jr., um, Sexton and Baines and Beverly or Bradley. So Bradley is gonna get 13 along with Baines. Uh, Sexton 20, Porter Jr. 27. We'll go 30 to Carter Jr. 32. We'll actually go 34, 34, um, and then we'll give Old Depot 33. Uh, actually, we'll go 33, 34. So first scoring option. I don't know. Let's see what Warrior can do. Second, we'll go Westbrook, and then third, we'll go Zion. I don't know. Um, system proficiency. Uh, I guess we'll go balanced for this year, and I'll. See and our preseason power ranking is pretty good. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And we have Miami's first. It's going to be a really, like, 
dominant video. All right, so James Harden wins MVP, but we go 55 and 27. And I mean, Jimmy Baller is six men of the year, sure. But like this Bulls and the Sixers have KD, Embiid, I think Tobias still, and Simmons. So they're going to be tough to beat. I can see it being a Bulls, Sixers, like, or semifinal. So we'll eventually get to that. Zion already on the third team. 18-8, 4.8, 34% from three. It's not horrendous. Uh, Westbrook at 29 and 7.8. Um, this is weird that I have Westbrook on my team, and this isn't a Thunder rebuild. So standings, we got conference. Uh, Bulls are two. Pacers are seven. So we're taking on the Pacers, who have d Rose. Oh, my God, and they don't even have uh, Old Depot because we stole them. Um, or we stole Old Depot from them, basically. So player stats, I can see Old Depot only averaging like 15 a game. Oh my god, we average 13 a game. Sheesh. Uh, Markinen had 19 and 8 and a half. Okay, Carter Jr. 11, 8. And a block and a half. Sex and nine off the bench. Same with Porter. Um, wait, is it not Porter Jr.? I thought it was a Porter Jr. Oh well. Um, Baines and then Bradley. Team stats, points per game. We are. Ooh, we are low. 16th allowed. We are. Uh, best and point of virtual we are third. Maybe I should not make Westbrook one of the options Maybe I should go to Old Depot instead. So round one. Okay, if they beat me, I actually might just quit 2k uh, Obviously, I wouldn't do that, but I might want oh my god. We're tied 2-2. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This game makes no all right So the Lakers win it all and LeBron your finals MVP They did sign Kyrie Irving in the offseason and they drafted Cameron Reddish So that's why they won it. I don't know how we lost in round one, but F me, I guess. Um, so we have the number one projected pick via Miami, and it falls to three, but hey, we have the third pick in the draft. Now, head coach, um, we're going to get a better one. I'm going to blame this on Jim Boylan, so yeah. Um, and can we get Ryan Johnson? If we can get both of them, that'd be fire, and we do, okay. So what I might do um, is trade maybe the fourth pick and Westbrook for James Harden. I'm just kidding. Uh, Old Depot in the third pick is what I meant to say. And Devin Booker, we I might do this because it gives us scoring and a better bench because our bench was pretty trash. Uh, so I'm going to actually do this trade. We're going to get Devin Booker, who is going to be one of the best scorers on the team. All right, so we're at the NBA. Oh, no, no. All right, so we just made that trade. Now what I'm going to do is probably move. Oh, and we have Lucas Salmon and Kukka. So I need, just need to find two more bench players. Um, and Sexton will have a team option, so he'll be one of them. Um, and then we could bring back Otto Porter. So... And I actually had a port out a player option, so he is back. Um, and he's making $27 million, so he will be playing for us. Now, I might, I think I'm going to trade Avery Bradley. No, I mean, yeah, I'm going to move Avery Bradley for either a power forward or center, um, if possible. Harry Giles, will I get offered Mitchell Robinson? Uh, um, can I get Mitchell Robinson from the Knicks, or is he a free agent? No, I don't think so. I think he's like under contract for like four years or something. Uh, Avery Bradley, perfect. Avery Bradley and a sec or a, a 2024 first for Mitchell Robinson. So we have the same starting five last year. Just replace Oladipo with Devin Booker, and then off the bench replace Baines and uh, Avery Bradley with Alexander Walker and Lucas Samanik. And then wait, we might have too many people on our bench now that I think about it. Hold on, maybe I didn't need to make that trade. Uh wait. Um, now we might have ten people. God damn it, I didn't realize that. So we have one. Wait, oh my god. No! Oh wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Russell Westbrook was a free agent? No! This is the biggest L ever! I didn't know Westbrook was a free agent! Oh no, no, no. No, 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 he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. No, this is the su That scared me. This is the summer league roster. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. For real though, that scared me because I, I didn't, I was like, oh my god, I just simulated through free agency and I didn't know Russell Westbrook was a free agent and he just signed elsewhere. But no, we're chilling. Oh my god, that was almost so embarrassing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I lost Samanik though. Yeah, oh well, I don't really care. Um, I didn't even realize that, but whatever. So we have two ends of potentials. You can get it, mark it in. And we'll give the other one to Mr. Zion Williamson, who's already like an Eddie overall in his sophomore year, which is quite absurd. So like I said, same starting five as last year. Uh, just Booker is replacing Old Depot. And off the bench, Baines and Bradley will be replaced by Walker and Robinson. So perfect. Um, sure, we'll give 24 to both these guys. And then we'll go 19, 13. That's fine. I got three more minutes here. We'll go 35. Um, interesting. 33 to both of these guys is good. Um, and then we'll go 32. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go 18 and then 22. 
um, and then give him 30. So first scoring option is going to be Markkinen, second will be Booker, third will be Zion. Um, and then for system proficiency, this guy is defense, but we're not going to go defense. We're going to go, um, do I want to go balanced? Nah, we'll go pace and space. So let me change Jacob Underwood's uh, whatever thing to uh, pace and space. Uh, space and pace, pace and space, pace and space. Uh, and I just want to check the uh, preseason power ranking, which is going to be number one. All right. We should make it out of the first round this time. I said that last year and we got embarrassed. So we'll just 2K Simbi on my side this year. All right. So we're finishing the season with 60 plus wins, which is very nice. Uh, last year, we got 58, I believe. Now, this is kind of like one of the more outlandish rebuilds. Also, um, I transferred. I'm actually now a Harvard student. But uh, this is one of the more, like, because obviously I keep some realism, and especially in the realistic rebuilds. And then these are the other type that could just get wild, where I could pick up Russell Westbrook, Devin Booker, and just have, like, Colin Sexton come off the bench, and just, like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see if we get any bulls. Um... Okay, I like how it just skips to all the defensive first team. On base second team, wow, Paul over Westbrook. And the only bowl we get is Zion. Um, 18, about a very similar season to what he did last year. And we'll see if we get any more bowls. Zion and Russ. Russ is the third score, not even the top three scoring options. Gets 12 points a game. I was hoping he would have averaged like 12 assists a game, but damn. All right, making me regret maybe that. Um, but, now, but now we're the one seed. I think it said we're taking on the Orlando Magic in round one. Who have full twos, I, uh, Evan Fournier, Isaac Gordon, Vujovic, Mama Wiseman. Okay, just have like three centers that are startable. Smart decision. Player stats, Booker, Lettuce, and scoring. Markin and right behind, Williamson right behind him. Um, and then there's Carter Jr., Westbrook, Nikel Alexander, Walker, Sexton, Porter. See, when you have like stack squads like this that I do, not you're not really going to have like a 27 point per game score just because there's so many guys in just so little time. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this. Uh, I think we should be okay to possibly make a championship run. Said that last year, lost in round one to the Pacers, and it looks like we don't sweep the Magic, but we win in five. Okay. And we're taking on the winner of Brooklyn, Boston, and it goes to Brooklyn. I actually wanted to, you remember me trying to trade for Dinwiddie, but they didn't want to really do that trade at all. Because I wanted Dinwiddie and Levert in the first, and they were just being stubborn, so I was like, screw it. Um, and I ended up getting Russell Westbrook out of that, so I'm kind of glad that trade fell through. Uh, we are up 2-1 to one on them. Please make it 3-1. to one. Oh, God, I'm having flashbacks of last series, or last year, this uh, Pacers series. But we do win in six, and I'm taking on the Sixers. Somehow, this was a six seed. I mean, it doesn't look like their bench is all that good. But they have Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. Isaiah Thomas. He's actually been really bad defensively in real life. Um, and I heard he's fell, fallen out of the Nuggets rotation. Which, I mean, it just sucks. Because he's actually like a really good player, especially for his height. But there's, if you're, like, you can't really play him out there on defense. He's so much of a liability. Like... Brad Stevens making him an MVP cannon it just looks wild to this day that he was able to do that. So now we're taking on the Mavericks, who have the sixth worst record in the NBA. And I swear to God, if they get a better record than the Knicks, I'm actually going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Um, game one, we um, we won by a lot. Uh, D-Book dropped 33. Game two, we won by a lot. D-Book dropped 21. 12 assists for Westbrook. Game three, 2-1. to one. Make it two to two. Let's get a series. Okay, now we're just too good. All right, three to one. Utter domination. I'm actually excited to use Westbrook, um, but we might lose. Okay, we're gonna lose this game, which is okay. Uh, let's go to a game six. I dare you guys. Force me to a game seven. I dare you. Um, not gonna happen though, cause we're too good. We're okay. Um, probably gonna go to a game seven. Nice. Going to a game seven. I swear to God, if we blow, blow this. Wait, who? Game six. Damn, Luca with the triple. Uh, they do have whites. Like, they have a good team. Like, I didn't really show you guys it. Um, but this Mavericks team was a seven seed with John Morant. This guy sucks, but Hard Doncic, I don't know who this guy is. And Whiteside Canner, looking like the Knicks out there. All right, game seven in Chicago. If we blow with three, one weed, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, it's looking pretty good. Um, looking pretty good. All right, looking good. All right, so I will see you guys in the game. I'm going to play for a little bit, but thank God I didn't blow through one lead. I would have lost my mind with the LaMelo Ball finals. <laughs> I got PTSD from that. All right, so we're in the game. Um, I really don't have that much stress because we should probably win this. Uh, deep book out here. Like, freaking marketing is like the fourth best player on the floor behind Booker, Westbrook, and Zion. That's absurd. Uh, but it looks like 
Um, yeah, Carter Jr. is not in. Oh, how do you not get that block? Um, all right, I'm just excited to use Westbrook because this is like the first time in forever I've been able to use Westbrook. That's not a Thunder rebuild. Zion, dunk this. Oh my God, that would have been a. I would have loved to post through that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. Some auto-generated rookie. Zion, come on, what are you doing? Um, but he's pretty tall. Uh, number, what is he? Number six? Yeah, number six. Poor Gingsis. I don't know. Um, so we're up by 24. Westbrook with a perimeter D. Um, Morant, maybe a mini Westbrook? Nah, not at all. Um, but he's athletic as Westbrook is. And, like, Westbrook is 6'3", which it might be the most mind-blowing thing in the NBA. He's 6'3", but he, like, his athleticism is like he's 6'9". Like, Dennis Smith Jr. is 6'3", but if you put them next to each other, I don't know. Westbrook just is like, he is, just seems so much taller than 6'3". Uh, wild shot there. Zion with the board. Out to Markkinen. Ah! Um, Markkinen and Porzingis. That's kind of funny. Uh, Carter Jr. with the screen. Deep book. Pull up. That should be money. There we go. Um, Ennis Cannon not playing defense like usual. I think most, I think me and all you guys watching could probably play better defense in the NBA than Ennis Cannon. Might be the worst defensive big man in the NBA. All right, so Carter Jr. Um, he's got 21, 6, and 5. Damn, A plus blocks, A paint. Oh, how about a steal there? Oh, good double team. Um, Cannon, what are you going to do? Block by Zion? Block by Zion. All right, Westbrook, let's go. I want to oop. I would have loved a oop from Westbrook to Zion, but um, Zion, uh, let's see. Wait. Can I come to, like, just cut to the basket? Let's... Ah, I got stripped. God damn it, John Morant. You're annoying. Um, all right. Come on. You're not getting it over Zion. That's what I thought. Uh, come on, Doncic. No way. Give it a Westbrook. Let's run a break. Can somebody cut? Uh, cut to the basket. Cut to the basket. God damn it. Why is everybody stealing Westbrook? I don't like this. And, of course, I foul. Okay. Uh, one more time. Williamson, cut to the basket. Will this work? Oh, oh my god. I can't believe that actually worked. And he fucking 360s that, John. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was salty. That was that was that was hot and um wise words from Will Smith. Damn, Zion is A minus paint, eight steals, A perimeter, A minus blocks. It's pretty freaking good. Oh my god. Ah his job just made me go on skates right there with marketing. Oh my god. Alright, Zion, let's do this again. Let's see if it works. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't want to do that play. I don't know what that play is. Cut. Let's do it again. Uh, that's not going to work. All right. Just stand dunk it. Or <laughs> Canner, you think you're going to mess up with Zion? Finals MVP, if I had to guess. I'm going to say Zion. All right. So the Bulls want to know Zion is your finals MVP. So let me know in the comments. I'm probably not going to do a Zion rebuild till like May, April at least. Uh, maybe May. Uh, but let me know other prospect rebuilds. Like this is the time to comment um, your prospect rebuilds in the comment section below. Because when I want to do one of these again in maybe like a week. I'm going to go back to the Zion Bulls video and go in the comments. So if you see like a Jared Culver Hawks rebuild. And you're like damn I want to see that. Like the person's comment so it gets to the top. So I can see it. Um, because then I'll know if it has like 100 likes. I know a lot of people want to see that. Compared to it having like 2. And then I'll be like, eh, does just two people want to see it? Or do I want to see one with like 100 likes? So yeah, definitely drop in the comments um, one, two that you want to see. Thank you all for the support lately. You guys have been killing it. Um, I think like the last six videos or five videos have above 40,000 views or around that. So thank you. I appreciate it a lot. So yeah, that is going to be for me. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.